recently, there are two guidelines on the treatment of the endocrinology in male and female. So should we start with the European one first. For the European one uh, guideline, actually it just published for a while in 2018. And there are evident assessment, the retrospective assessment, the study into category A, B, C, and D. And level of evidence into one, two, three, four. So in male patients, this is the summarize of the guideline. And they summarize show that phenacetride, dutasteride, fatasem, minoxidil, hair transplantation, low level laser therapy, and PRP both are have an evidence for the treatment of endogenic UPG here. With the level, level of evidence ones, it's phenacetride, dutasteride, and minoxidil, which we usually use as a standard treatment or FDA treatment for the Hi, Julita. Hi, hi. Hi, thanks for joining. I'm using my iPad computer. Okay. Hello. I'd like to contribute also, but here in our country, we use the one milligram, the Propecia only. We have no experience of using the Dusteride. And the uh, drawback using uh, finasteride in a majority of the patients because of the sexual uh, dysfunction, FX, uh, uh, and uh, however, those who have really are very conscious about uh, the uh, hair loss about the hair, they are have no. Um, in my experience, is the most effective, right, uh, to treat uh, medical treatment for hair loss. And some are really the response is very good. And even if they're uh, aware, there's there's a uh, there's this sexual dysfunction effect. Uh, others would would take it, and and they are they're happy that when they come back uh, uh, four months after six months after, uh, they're happy with the result. Uh, uh, me, uh, yeah, Julia. Yeah. Okay, me. I when I do a PRP, definitely I I I do the nerve block because uh, the experience always is um, uh, the discomfort. It's pain. Because the the solution is um, is thick, right? And then um, uh, how the depth of injection? Uh, this is another question uh, to everybody. The depth is, uh, of injection. What is the depth of injection of PRP? Uh, me, I I do uh, inject down uh, to the bulb uh, and then down to the bulge, which is. Uh, one millimeter deep and four millimeter deep. Do you do you do that when you do PRP? When you inject PRP? I, I do around three to five millimeters depth. Yeah. Doctor Yang, do you do you earlier, uh, Jolita? Any comment? Uh, no, no, I don't use uh, toxin for hair loss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but but for me, uh, actually I we we did a study about scalp stiffness. Uh, associated with HGA. So the, the if the stiffness increase, the uh, severity would also increase. But we so uh, the toxin can be a way to release the stiffness of scalp. Uh, but uh, we did that. We, we didn't really do the, the trial, so I, I don't have the answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so maybe we observe those with what uh, migraine and see whether they have more hair or not after injection of toxin. Because yeah, it's, indi yeah, it's yeah. indicator for migraine. <laughs> we can just look at those patients and see whether they, they have the same observation or not. Yeah. 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 I have a question to you guys about the vitamin importance. Do you do you believe in vitamins and do you prescribe or give them to patients for, for hair? There are some countries that uh, are available to have the right in their injectable form if they are approved in their country, in Europe, in Europe country. When you say message therapy, you inject the, the solution? Just like PRP. Just like PRP? Mm. It's, yeah, it's, yeah, I inject I PRP. But like, How deep is message therapy? It's four millimeters. Again, four millimeter. Okay. So, uh, okay. Okay, interesting. 
Okay, I don't think there we have we don't have a question right now. And how the time is either it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I think we, we can continue on and on for, for hours. I think this topic will never end. <laughs> yeah, we gotta stop somewhere. Yeah, it's 9 40. Uh well, I, I think we have a very fruitful talk today. Uh, thank you, my, my co-chair, uh, Associate Professor Rachatong. Thank you, Jalata. Thank you, Dr. Yang, uh, for, for this wonderful talk. Uh, we, we will continue to, to talk about hair, I'm sure, in future. Maybe another session on this uh, hair transplant and all, all these injectables, uh, uh, those uh, treatment. Uh, and otherwise, uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, everyone, for attending. Thank you for the questions. Hope to see you all around. A anyone, anyone will be attending IMCAS?